Hello and welcome to Boomer and Beyond Wellness and the Habit Your Way workout series. I'm Angela Fischetti. So today's deep dive is into the exercise called the cross body hammer curl. Now what's the difference between a basic bicep curl and a hammer curl? It's pretty much the position of the arms, but I want you to look at the hands here, okay? So we're kind of used to this as a basic bicep curl, even with some supination and pronation, all right? But with a hammer curl, the palms are going to face each other. Now with the cross body hammer curl, this is done unilaterally, but we alternate each arm. Now I'm gonna move right into the accessories here. What we'll be using today will be a sticky yoga mat. I'll also be using an exercise or a resistance tube and also one pair of 15 pound dumbbells. Now let's talk for the moment about precautionary measures and medical disclaimers. I wanna make a general announcement first. So if you have any chronic concern whatsoever, then I'm going to ask you please to observe the videos before participating with any of my videos and look for what you can do. However, if you're not sure after watching them, then I would invite the medical health care practitioner who knows your body best to preview this. Okay, we're gonna start again. Uh, that's a good solid two minutes in, okay. Hello and welcome to Boomer and Beyond Wellness and the Have It Your Way workout series. I'm Angela Fischetti. So the deep dive today is in the cross body hammer curl. So you might ask, what's the difference? Like what is a hammer curl? I don't get it. So take a peek here. This is a basic bicep curl. It doesn't matter if you do your pronation, your supination, but this is a basic bicep curl. Now for a hammer curl, your hands would be facing each other like so. But with a cross body hammer curl, we're going to work unilaterally, which is one side at a time, but we'll be alternating the movements. And the accessories we'll be using today will be a sticky yoga mat. I'll also be using an exercise or resistance tube and one pair of 15 pound dumbbells. Now, I'm gonna move right into the precautionary measures and medical disclaimers with basically a general announcement. If you have any chronic concern, I invite you to observe the video before participating. Look for what you can do. However, if you're not sure after you watch the video, then I would invite the medical healthcare practitioner who knows your body best to preview the video as well to help you make an informed decision. Now, more specifically, for those of you who have a latex allergy, please be careful because the mat and the resistant tubes are made out of latex. You wanna look for non-latex or latex-free. Also, I want to caution those of you with carpal tunnel syndrome. I find a lot of times when I see people working with the exercise tube that when they hold the handles, they do this. This is wrist extension. No matter where the arms, forearms are, this is wrist extension. So you want to avoid this movement and make sure that your wrists are straight. Also, if you have golfer's elbow or tennis elbow, also known as medial epicondylitis or lateral epicondylitis, um, you want to get a little bit more medical advice that is specific to you because a lot of times here with bicep, tricep work, for those of you with these issues, it might be a problem. So please go a little bit further into asking for information. It's all about those elbow joints and we want to be careful here for you. Now the muscles that will be involved here will be the biceps brachii, brachii pardon me, the brachioradialis and the brachialis as well as the anterior deltoid, the front of the shoulders. The activities of daily living that are benefited here, well, any kind of carrying movement, uh, lifting and pulling. So let's say when you wanna carry your groceries into your home, um, but you gotta lift and pull them out of that 
trunk to carry them into your home. You see what I'm saying? So it is incredible how much um, all exercise, but when you're really specific about what you're doing, can benefit what we need to accomplish for ourselves later in life without additional assistance. All right, so let's talk about some gentle reminders. Um, this is not a workout. However, I am going to recommend that um, you, when you're working out on your own, feel free to stop and rest whenever you need to. However, I'm not inviting you to quit. So you stop, take a couple of breaths, and return to the work, even if it's for one more repetition. Also, please keep yourselves properly hydrated with water. Uh, throughout the course of your workout. However, um, if you have some medical concerns like kidney or bladder issues and you've been advised to not drink a lot of water, please follow that advice. Now on the channel, you want to look for a warm up and a cool down video. It's just one video where you can interchange the movements. And I recorded this because it is advised for those of us 55, five, five years and above to warm up for a full 10 minutes prior to any workout. Also go to the community tab on the channel and there you will find a link to the RPE chart, rating of perceived exertion, which is a zero through 10 subjective scale. And it's an excellent tool for those of you who don't know how to take your exercise or your training heart rate, who may have a pacemaker, or for those of you on certain medications like beta blockers. Um, and it is advised for the demographic of my channel to work out at, at an RPE between three and six. Also look for a link to a cool Healthline article that talks about this exercise, as well as reference screenshots and a reference image for you. Now, what are we gonna do here today with this crossbody hammer curl? Well, we're going to do one set and a set is a group of eight to 15 repetitions. Today, we will definitely be doing 15 repetitions. For the first five repetitions, we're not using the accessories, but I want to advise you, please, that when you're moving, that you think about what you're doing. You wanna be mindful about the work. We don't wanna fling through everything just to get it over with, to say, oh, I did that. No, I want you to experience it. <laughs> Sounds crazy, but yes, I would like you to really take your time with it. Um, also, after we do the first five repetitions, then we move into using the exercise tube for the next five reps. And then for the final five reps, I'll be using 15 pound weights. So now let's talk about how we begin here, how to stand when you're strength training. This would be an athletic ready stance placing the hands to the inside of the high hip bones. This is called your iliac crest up here. You wanna point your fingers straight down, not in, not out wide, so straight down. You're lining up to your knees, down to your ankles. Also wanna make sure your toes are in the same line as each other. Now I'm going to turn to the side here, and especially for the females, a lot of times, when you folks stand to do your training, I see a lot of this, which is where the pelvis tips forward. It's called an anterior pelvic tilt. We don't want to do that. We want to do a nice gentle posterior pelvic tilt, also known as a pelvic tuck. So that's the athletic ready stance. Now, let's begin here. Just checking my microphone. Okay, let's begin here in athletic ready, plugging the arms in their sockets and Come across. Now what we're doing here is aiming toward the opposite shoulder. And all breath is in and out through the nose. And you want to pause at the peak of the contraction right here. Lifting up. I'm just maybe keeping my arm a little bit lower here to avoid the microphone. I'm gonna do one more, the opposite arm. 
and slowly lower. And if you need to, you could always take a couple of nice big shoulder rolls here in between. Now moving on to the exercise two. Don't forget here, folks, we talk about this a lot. If you have hand issues like arthritis, de Poutrin's contracture, or even let's say trigger finger, etc., you want to look for the soft foam handle. Now, when I work with the tube, I'm placing the tube underneath the arches of my sneakers, hammer curl, cross body. Now, I really like this with the tubing. There's a really good sense of resistance going on here. And also the handle here lends itself to the hammer position. Pausing. You want to exhale on the effort. The effort is the lift here on the curl. I'm going to do one more to each side. And careful when you step off of a tube, they can kind of snap away from you very quickly. And finally, for the weights, here we go. So just this arm, I gotta be careful with that microphone. So this is three. Three, so you see how to count it. Keep that chest up, shoulders back and down. One more to each side. It feels great. So that's what we have for you today, folks, here at Boomer and Beyond Wellness with Have It Your Way Workout Series. So if you value the content here, folks, on my channel, I would really appreciate it if you consider subscribing, sharing the videos, perhaps giving it a kind comment, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. And if you would like to receive my free monthly newsletter, you can go to my website, which is boomerandbeyondwellness.com, and go to the subscribe tab there. And as a thank you, you will receive a link to a workout I created specifically for newsletter subscribers. So until next time, eat your greens, eat your beans, drink your water, and be well. Thanks so much.